What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to We Never Learned Boku Ben Season 2 Episode 8. Now it looks like from I believe the last episode's uh, preview, this is going to be more a Takamoto centered feature. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Again, I'm trying to figure out what it's going to be. It's not going to be an arc. There's no way it's going to be an arc, so... I know that from the previews, again, that was shown, the side characters are her friends. The other swimmers are probably going to be doing some crazy antics, as as per usual, as all the side characters are. Like, every single side character is, like, trying to push Yuiga to, uh, um, towards the their uh, friend. And, I mean, hell, the maids uh, with Asami do it later on. Um, Sekijo with Okata, uh, these girls with Takamoto, and, um, Fumino, she has a couple, but you don't, it's, they're not as common. They're really not as common. And then everyone just realizes that Sensei's the best girl, and she don't need no wingman. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm curious to see where this is gonna go, so without further ado, let's jump in to episode 8 of season 2, which is, what's the name of it? Oh, is that it? The Flow of X Never Ends? Oh. I thought it was going to be a long title, but yeah, let's jump into it in three, two, one, let's jam. <clears throat> ah, okay, I think I remember a little bit about this in the manga. In the manga. And intro. Uh, okay, let's see. I remember a little bit about this in the manga. By the way, the new chapter of this just got updated, I believe. In fact, let me check. Also, I have the best girl bibble here for when I need to. Nothing on this side because the main message is on the front. But yeah. I am curious as to see what's going to happen with these antics. Again, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed this show simply because, one, it's an animated version of something that I've already loved and enjoyed. But I am curious as to see as to see how this is going to portray. Alright, hold on. I don't know why I'm, like, babbling on. Let me go check really quickly on the manga Reddit. Because I'm pretty sure it just got updated. Um, yeah, I think every Saturday gets updated, if I am correct. Let's go to manga. If it would load. There we go. Uh, it's not up at first. So, it might have not been uploaded. Not yet. Which is odd. Normally it comes out earlier. Yeah, I don't see any notifications. So, hmm. Alright, well that's fine. Maybe it'll be up later on today. Or if it is, it's just not uploaded. Or I might have missed it. Tan lines. Hips. Those wing girls. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me fix the, um... Oh, that's not it. I realized that was off a little bit. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe Nardi is fucking dead. <laughs> and you're all like, <laughs> see the three other juniors don't really see that. We're getting some good Takamoto fan service. And I know a lot of people still like Takamoto. For the anime only, guys. Oh, 
Oh no, and she's gonna be teaching. Are we? Are we about to see Sensei in a swimsuit? Are we about to see God? Are we about to see God? Bless me right now. Oh, you teach world history, right? History that you're best girl. Because you're best girl. Is that a JoJo reference? <laughs> I'm so glad I was able to do that. Oh, man. I got it, so... Bloody hell. So she's like, she goes along the same lines. <laughs> it's like the other ones, Rizu and Fumino. They just she, they just know how to do it. It's beautiful. <laughs> of course you have to have a sensei's ass. Oh, but I'm making progress. Yes, hold me tightly. I think I learned to swim at a very young age myself, but it was the same way. I was also, you know, like three feet tall at the time, maybe. That swimsuit, though. She can comfort. She can teach. And she's best girl. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh. He swam five meters. <laughs> hey no illegal hand holding that's too that's too NSFW that's okay though <laughs> nope nope sorry I mean wow Wow. That was pretty, um, yeah. What are you talking about? She's hot. Very hot. Oh, I know why. Belly button. No, there's nothing wrong with me. Oh! Yes! We're finally going to get a little bit of snippet. Oh, please, I want to see that. I want to see that arc. That's such a good arc. Hmm. No. Opposite. Yeah, having all the, um... Having a bunch of, oh my gosh, expectations placed upon you is, 
very difficult at times. Like, I know they're trying to, like, seem like they're being very supportive, but it's a double-edged sword. See, like, this is an edge of, like, a legitimately, like, serious talk, in a way. So. For a National Athletic meet, there's not that many people in the bleachers. In the stands, at least. <laughs> Rizu has natural, um, two natural flotation devices. You're okay. I do a little bit of a golf clap. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Takamoto is a great... Takamoto is a great girl. It just... It sucks because she kind of pales in comparison. There, okay, there it is. There it is. Oh, sweet. Well, except it was exchange. For some reason, I thought for some reason the manga, maybe because they only don't bring up exactly where, but I thought it was in America. By the way, nothing has ever been set in stone, really. But, yeah, slight spoiler, it seems like she's basically said yeah. So, my, ge my guess is next episode, because this was the arc I'm talking about. This little arc where she basically comes to this, um, it, there's a maybe a little bit later, but they could just streamline it in. Rest in coffee. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> 
All right, so long distance relationships. You have to be extremely trusting of the other person. <laughs> Those dead eyes. But. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> yeah, that definitely is something you should definitely be open about. <laughs> you blasted innocent girl. Oh man, that Fumino crossed eyes. Of course, Chad Yuki comes in. Bing. <laughs> That's a weird looking smartphone. I remember a bit about this. By the way, how the frickety frack do you not see that? Sorry, I gotta keep it um, PG. It's a shame, though. I really don't want this series to end. But you can really tell that it's going to end soon with um, what the author has been doing lately. How things are progressing, and especially for Fumino. Last chapter was a Fumino chapter. All you Fumino fans would be happy. That wasn't my intention. <laughs> that was a cute thank you. Technically, she's known them the longest out of all of them, so yeah. You know, I keep on forgetting that, like, Naruyuki in general just, like, has to really, like, really has a penny pinch. Fumino's great, though. Like I said, sorry, though. Senpai and sen Sensei and Senpai. Just... Oh my god, that's so cute. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> like Fumi uh, Fumino or Furuhashi, whatever, is a really good character. But she also deserves happiness. And that just makes it sad. That, that just what hurts. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't really a spoiler because they they approved it in this episode, which is what I had a feeling was going to happen. Judging by the way they've been piecing things together in terms of the chapters. Although I don't remember if it was in chapter. Mojito. So yeah, like I said, it wasn't okay. I correct me if I'm wrong though. Like I don't remember that this. I think this was what couple chapters, at the very least. So yeah, when I'm talking about her arc, this was her arc for the most part. There's some things in between, but yeah, there wasn't really like. There's not much development. Like okay, so you, like I would consider this an arc. This is the weakest arc out of all of them. Rizu. She has her transformation, I guess you could say. Um, Asami. Asami probably has my favorite in terms of, like, just, like, emotional hit. Um, Senpai's is fantastic. And then Furuhashi, which is how I feel like they're going to end the season. Is really good, too. But Rizu, Rizu doesn't really have too much. Because, honestly, she's been growing the most out of all the other characters in terms of just, like how she's expressing herself and all that other stuff. Um, but Sen Sensei, or K Kirisu Sensei, was constantly... Like, you could tell that some things has changed about her, but you don't really get too much. I mean, I guess it's with all the girls. I mean, Asami... We're probably not going to get Asami's arc because there's a lot of like time in between. They could skip those chapters. I hope not, because those are actually really some good chapters that just, like, build up a little bit about her character development. I mean, not as much as the arc, but still. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> English is a very hard language. <laughs> Alright, so next Wait, 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 wait Is that is, Hold on, hold on, hold on Give me a second Give me a second Give me a second We're getting it We're getting it It's the arc But this is episode eight. We're on episode 8 We got like 
this is a minimum of a two part series. I thought they were going to end. Oh. I'm really curious about this. So, this is going to be spoilers for the people who have not read the manga. Be forewarned. I'm going to talk about it right now. So, Fumino's chapter just happened. Usually, they focus on a girl, a chapter. Although, lately, Sensei's, Sensei's been getting a lot of spotlight. A lot of spotlight. I'm not complaining. But, Fumino had her own chapter, and then at the very end, she confirmed to herself the thing that we all knew. Was that she loved Naruyuki. And she even said, she's like, I don't know when, I don't know what time. Like, and then she started just getting flashbacks to the time where they were in the hotel and she he held her hand to other things. That like, and then even reminisce about this exact part right here. Um, and she's like, maybe I've loved him the entire time. And that's what makes me think we're endgame. Like... Sensei has not outwardly said that she likes Yuiga, which, honestly, that, that, that makes perfect sense. I don't really see her until, unless she actually gets picked for the Yuiga bowl. bowl. Sen, since uh, Senpai, Asami, um, I think has admitted that she, like, has some type of feeling, but it's not, not nothing, like, set in stone like the other girls. Rizu has straight up, I believe, uh, I think Rizu knows... That she loves him, if I'm correct. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, Rizu, I mean, Takamoto liked him the entire time. And then now Fumino. So basically, all the girls are in set. Um, now, if they ever have a, if they have a chapter where Sensei... Highly unlikely. But if they ever have a, a chapter where Sensei's like, you know what? I kind of like him. I'm going to, one, lose my shit. And two, it's probably the first time ever I like donate gold in like Reddit. <laughs> or silver, whatever I do. But that's the day the entire community is going to blow up. Because this is a very popular manga. Especially on Reddit. And honestly, the two main girls are Sensei and Fumino. In terms of like fan base. Um, and then the, but the Sensei fan base seems to heavily outweigh everyone else's. Maybe that's just because they're more vocal. And the other ones aren't. But again, that's kind of a... That would, I mean, it's Reddit. So you would expect... Um, people to be voicing their opinions quite frequently. And it just seems like the Sensei Squad has a lot more backers in it. So, But yeah, we're going to begin her arc. I am very surprised. I thought we were going to have a little bit more... Um, I thought next... Honestly, I think I thought next chapter could have been more of a um, calm one. But there, here's where it gets interesting. Where the hell are they going to end this season now? Because that throws my my theory out of the window. I thought it was going to be a slightly serious episode. I would say this was more of a serious episode. And then back to fun and a- fun antics. And then back to a serious fun antics. And then it was going to end on this. No. We're my, we probably might... Okay, so my theory now... My new theory is we're going to end on Sensei's arc. Thank you. I didn't think it was going to happen, but I think we might end up on Sensei's um, arc, which is a good arc. I think we get to see her sister. I don't, I don't, they haven't shown the sister in the anime yet, and if they did, it's probably just as a slight cameo that I just totally missed. Um, so yeah, I am ridiculously curious as to see what's going to happen. I hope it ends on the Sensei arc, because you have to end on Best Girl, right? Sorry, Fuminochi fans or Furuhashi fans. Sorry. Alright, guys. Anyways, I'm going to go wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, I wanted to at least say, I so apologize for not uploading Friday. I totally forgot. Not going to lie. I have the uploads ready for you guys. I just got so busy yesterday. I, it was my one day off and I had stuff to do, and then I just totally forgot about it. So I do apologize. Next week, I'll have the uh, the entirety up of all of Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girls Not by Up for you guys next week. I do apologize. I really do apologize. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.